So, a lot of people are confused about how Maxo Chikumbutso's inventions work. In this video, I'll try to give you a rough overview of how he claims his inventions work and show you some of the reasons why people in the scientific community are having conflict with Maxo. Whether it is self-powered TV, generator, cars, bike, etc. At the core of it all, Chikumbuto powers these devices using what he calls the microsonic energy device. So the device supposedly converts radio waves into energy, which end up powering his vehicles and appliances. Basically, his device generates electricity. Now, for those who have no idea what these radio waves are, these are a type of electromagnetic wave with the longest wavelengths and lowest frequencies in the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum is a range of all types of electromagnetic waves, which are waves made of electric and magnetic fields traveling through space. These waves carry energy and can travel through a vacuum at the speed of light. So radio waves in particular are used in communication, broadcasting, navigation, and many other applications. If you have a phone, a radio, or you use a Wi-Fi router, chances are you're already interacting with radio waves. Chikumbuto may be using these particular waves because of their ability to go through physical barriers. Now this is where it gets interesting. With all this communication taking place with your cell phone, your radios, uh, cell towers, there's a lot of energy that goes to waste. Basic physics, right? There's no process that can be 100% efficient. So it is this energy that Max Ochikumbuto claims that he can harness. And this is where he is having conflicts with the scientific community. Now, before we talk about the scientific community, I want to talk about this video sponsor. Now, I want to take this time to talk about this video sponsor, which is audio. If you're a content creator or a business, at some point you will need to make a video. And we all know that a good video has good music. This is where audio comes in. With thousands of licensed music tracks and sound effects to choose from, audio allows you to pick just the right track for you. You can sort your picks based on the mood, the instruments, beats per minute, and more. So let's say you're not sure of the music that you're looking for. Audio Pro Package comes with a handy feature called Hans AI. With Hans AI, you simply describe the scene in your video and audio will give you a list of songs that match your scene. Now that's handsy. Or maybe you heard some music on a YouTube video or a TikTok video and you want to get a song that matches it. You can simply copy the link from any of those platforms and paste it into the link match feature available for Audio Pro users and get a list of songs that match it. Now, I've been using Audio Pro for a while now and I love it and chances are you will love it too. Sign up for one year today and get 70% off the Audio Pro package using the link audio.com forward slash zimtech guy and use the special code save 70 at checkout to get a discount link in the description now back to the video so maxwell clashes with the scientific community because the amount of waste generated through communications is only a few nanowatts which is insignificant chikumbuto claims that his devices take these nanowatts and amplify them so that they can power a whole car this claim goes against the first law of thermodynamics that states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transferred or transformed. So Chikubuto is claiming that he in fact can generate energy out of nothing. Well, not nothing, but a few nanowatts. His inventions also break the second law of thermodynamics of entropy and irreversibility. Now, because of this, Chikumbuto cannot get a patent his devices are classified as perpetual motion devices and perpetual motion devices cannot be patented because they go against the laws of physics and they are considered to lack industrial applicability. That's why Chikumbuto ended up going the trade secret route, which is a strategy used by businesses to protect valuable information without filing for patents or other public intellectual property protections. So now here's the conundrum. Chikumbuto cannot show the world how his devices work because they are not patented, his ideas will be stolen. On the other hand, people cannot trust Maxwell because his inventions, in quotes, go against the laws of thermodynamics. As it stands, the burden of proof for validating 
these inventions lie with Maxwell Chikumbuzo. I don't know what you think guys, do you think that these inventions are real or they are fake? Leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.